Quant is testing a crucial resistance level. And if that sounds interesting to you, make sure to continue watching this video. Hey guys, Queen Trust here. Welcome back to another Quant analysis video. As always, if you do enjoy my content, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. As you guys can see on Quant, we bounced off that 99 level perfectly. In yesterday's video, I mentioned that there, of course, is a fact that we might be able to see a double bottom formation on Quant and to see whether or not this $99 level actually breaks. You can see Quant actually held that level perfectly. We saw a three test confirmation with a strong bullish engulfing candle breaking above these exponential moving averages. And now we are retesting this resistance at one. 112 once more you guys know already i've talked about this 112 resistance many many times once we trade below these exponential moving averages and a break of this resistance you tend to have a massive move to the downside and just like vice versa when we actually use these levels as support and actually retest this resistance you have a massive move to the upside now what we're looking for quant of course is a try to break above that level and find it as support and a continuation in terms of a bullish case scenario of course as long as we trade above these 112 levels we do have have a very nice case to actually breaking above but the major resistance level is still going to be around this 120 mark you can see on quant we tried to break above that 120 mark multiple times and failed to break above with three tests on this level on the four hour before finally continuing pushing to the downside my level overall of course is still going to be around the 87 dollar mark so i wouldn't be surprised if actually this is another fake out opportunity and then a continuation to the downside pushing back further but of course this would be invalidated if we can somehow get a Above this 120 level find it as support and then a continuation only then we can say we would have a bullish case scenario but right now the only reason we obviously bounced was because of the fact that we were testing a crucial support level here at 99 dollars and the fact that we were in oversold conditions on rsi i mentioned this to you guys yesterday the fact that we are heading into rsi's territory so it's going to be very crucial to not actually entering a short position because this short position already played itself out i mentioned there could be a pullback opportunity and then we can look for a major move to the downside ideally right now of course is if we can't break above this 112 level and we actually start finding it as resistance that would give us that confirmation to start looking for those shorting entries overall looking at the hourly time frames for quant you can see that we are pretty much above the exponential moving averages but this is something to know and i did want to point this out right now on quant you're starting to see that these exponential moving averages are actually being used as a support and a continuation this is an extremely bullish formation and i would expect this take profit level to end somewhere around this 116 mark on the hourly because this is where the move set started ideally once you see that retest of the hourly and then start to see that rejection that would either give us a confirmation of a double top formation or whether or not quant will actually push higher right now we are seeing that rejection of course right off that 112 level a very clean rejection as well as long as we try to trade above these exponential moving averages we would have a bullish case on the lower time frames but if we actually do get that break below these exponential moving averages and start to use it as resistance much like we did over here that would give us the confirmation on the lts that we are looking to forward possibly retesting that 99 dollars or continuing lower pushing below the 87 dollars and then start to consolidate over there the reason why of course is why i keep mentioning this 112 level to you guys is because i want you to understand how important this level actually acts right if you look on the four hour time frames you can see that in terms of the uh, 112 level you can see we have tested this level multiple times before we finally got a break formation to the downside as well as a break formation to the upside you can see that we actually test this level three times here before we actually had this massive move to the downside just like we test this level three times up here before we had this breakup formation upwards right so what we're looking for right now on the four hour time frames is the fact that we're going to be looking to see whether or not we get that three test confirmation at this specific level this is going to be very very crucial for us to actually wait and see how these four hour candlesticks close because if we do get a break above and then start to consolidate that's going to be an extremely bullish move set but our overall level still has to be tested that's pretty much all i have for you guys today as always if you do enjoy my content make sure hit the like and subscribe button thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you guys have a wonderful day